Hi everyone, I'm Margie O'Brien. Welcome to Legislative Insight. We're bringing you this program from Westerly. You've heard of the expression, a win-win situation. This new education center is actually a triple win. Not only is it a great model for the state, it's a much needed training ground for local employers. And most importantly, it is a place where someone can start over and begin a great new career. Westerly, Rhode Island is known for its picture-perfect Watch Hill area, the shops, the flying horses, and of course the celebrity neighbors, but just across town in the north end, right next to the train station, lies a new treasure. The Westerly Education Center is open for business. Yeah, let's slide this forward just a little. Zachary Sander and Cameron Clark are two students who are not only transforming pipes to fit a submarine, they're transforming their lives with this new opportunity with Electric Boat. I recently was in uh, outside sales, but I felt very under underemployed. And uh, my wife and I had talked about it and said, uh, we're gonna have to find another career. And so we looked around Rhode Island and wanted to find out to see what was the up and coming jobs. And uh, my wife suggested uh, Electric Boat. And once I got to the, to the shipyard and saw what was there and the potential and what we could do and, uh, and the you know, financial uh, compensation that I could get for the next 20 years, uh, you know, that's why I really wanted the job. Electric Boat pays for the training and has a job waiting for them after graduation. Win-win. It's a lot of hands-on. It's a lot of training. It's a lot of safety. You want to make sure you get home every night. Um, but for myself, who had never really been in this industry, uh, the uh, instructors sit down, they say, uh, with the books, and you go through the blueprints. A lot of nautical blueprint reading, which I'd never done before, and they took you step by step. And so after we're week four, I feel I can look at blueprints and understand what pipes, what valves, where things go on a boat. It's going to be fun. Uh, I think job satisfaction is one thing I was looking for, because you can feel and taste everything you do. And, uh, and to be in a sub and realizing that you're helping uh, build something that's going to uh, impact the world. I mean, this is, our, this is our safety for the United States. I like working with my hands. Well, sometimes we start lab down here and we just work on our blueprints. We're learning our blueprints either way. And we put them together, then we have to set them up in the sub. A mock-up of a sub is the lab area for students, but before this was even a concept for a learning environment, the bigger idea of a training facility had to happen. Westerly Education Center's grand opening was celebrated in April of 2017, but it was a project three years in the making three years and 10 days to be exact. Representative Sam Azanaro and his wife were celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary at the nearby Ocean House when a conversation began with Westerly philanthropist Charles Chuck Royce. The idea of an education center was hatched and a public-private investment made it a reality. It just works and it worked because we had Chuck Royce to initiate this and then he said, hey, I'm going to put up a million seven hundred seventy thousand dollars of my money to go towards this. What can you do? Now, you know, when you have someone that's putting up that much money, you better know some people that can say you know, in government and say, hey, you know, this guy's this is a vision for, for this, for me, for him. But, you know, let's get behind this. And it's not just, a, you know, just to do something. It, it's, it has a purpose, and it's, had, it's got a great purpose. A few years back when we were looking at our uh, upcoming growth um, in the current and in the future, we realized real quickly that um, we, we had a significant need to go um, build up the workforce and, and, and hire folks to support the contracts that we have um, today and what we have coming in the near future. Um, so we've engaged with the state 
um, you know, on many different levels, um, one of them culminating in this facility here that's providing um, hands-on customized training for folks to be prepared when they come to Electric Boat to work. Electric Boat has several contracts to build new submarines like this one and realize they had a demand for sheet metal workers and pipe fitters. We've seen a real push on you know, high school students to, upon graduation to go to college. And now you know, folks are starting to recognize that there's some real career opportunities in the trades that you don't necessarily need college, but coming and learning a trade or a skill and getting that customized experience um, will lead to a great career at Electric Boat. It's not just for young teens. The, you talk about kids coming out of high school and they don't want to go to college, but so you want to give them a skill. Uh, so they come here and get trained. EB pays a good salary. They have good benefits. Uh, it's pretty well job secured. But it's also for people that uh, might be in their 40s or 50s that want to change. Why should this be a model? Well, this is a good example of a public-private co uh, collaboration in providing skills to young adults for jobs. We have businesses in our state that are looking for help, and we have... Um, uh, individuals who do not have the skills so this matches them up so in essence you could essentially graduate from high school with a high school diploma with a certificate and a job for example electric boat as a welder or a, a machinist or someone working in sheet metal so he or she who's going to go through this program is going to have a job as well as a high school diploma and uh, that's what it's all about with economic development job skills development and this is a good example of that public-private collaboration where not only do we have public monies, but there's a significant amount of private monies that was infused into this, into this um, uh, project. The training project moves forward at the Quonset Point location for Electric Boat Company, where work continues on the Columbia-class submarine, as well as the new Virginia-class subs. But before this step, it's baby steps back in Westerly with instructors like Frank Lockwood, I've watched a program from its uh, conception stages to uh, where we're actually utilizing it and being able to uh, bring my skills to the table to try to uh, bring it into a uh, fine tune it. The mock-up is to uh, represent ex a kind of what they're going to experience in the yard during their fabrication of uh, piping. So um, it's been put together where uh, pretty much uh, the situations that they will, will, will find in the yard. So uh, hopefully it won't be such a shell shock to them to start building subs in the yard. You don't want to have uh, any problems with confined spacing or claustrophobic building submarines. It's, uh, it is tight, but it can be done by anyone. I, I did it for a long period of time. The public-private partnership and the employer-driven training is incredible, and you can see it with the um, the product that we've developed. So for the EB program, for example, with the Community College of Rhode Island doing the curriculum and hiring the instructors and the teaching assistants and then providing the product that EB wants, it's a win for everybody. So we have, we were, we have trained over 178 employees from January 9th. So in six months, we've graduated um, almost 200 employees and um, and it has been nothing but success. We're also developing programs such as the process technician program with 11 employers to create in the pharmaceutical industry, brewing, textile, manufacturing. They all have the same competency. So we'll have a boot camp model to do pre-employment training and then hopefully those folks will get hired by any of our industry partners. By teaming up with CCRI, Rhode Island College, the University of Rhode Island, and the Rhode Island School of Design, other courses like interior design and photography are offered here. More students, greater visibility, a win-win for this section of town which is experiencing a slow revitalization. The north end of Westerly has been one of those areas where uh, through years, because it's one of the older neighborhoods of the town of Westerly, there's been talk about what can we do to revitalize it. So this is somewhat, when you think about the fact that this was an originally a brown field type site, uh, it's almost like a phoenix rising. And, uh, and, and it's the most beautiful facility to have here. Uh, when, ever since I was a little kid, there's never been anything here. I have never seen anything in my life until this building started going up. And so to, to see something like this 
and to see what it's going to produce in the form of educated people who are going to be able to go forth and work in the trades here in the state of Rhode Island or in many cases uh, there's uh, classrooms upstairs now to train others who are going to get involved with computer professions and things such as that. It just has so many multiple uses and uh, uh, it, it's great to see when you walk into the building and you see the signs for CCRI, Rhode Island College, University of Rhode Island, Rhode Island School of Design is offering art classes here. It, it, it's just going to be a tremendous, tremendous uh, uh, community asset and uh, we're so proud to have it here in Westerly. You know, what's good for Wesley is good for Rhode Island. What's good for Groton, Connecticut, an electric boat is good for Rhode Island. So we look at it as a regional um, uh, concept. So it's very positive for our region. And uh, we're all in it together in our state. So we're doing our bit down here, but this is, this is very positive for our region. It is truly a win, win, win situation. The state is seeing job creation, companies are filling voids in employment, and men and women are embarking on a new career, a new life. So again, it's not just for the young kids, but it's a great start because not all kids are ready for five, six, five years of college, four years of college. Uh, not everybody's going to be a doctor or a lawyer. We need people that can build things, that have common sense and common skills that they just need to be taught. Some people don't know how to pound a nail in, and you need to show them. And this facility is going to show people how they can work with their hands and use their mind and make a difference. So there is a great new curriculum being added right here in Westerly with all the local colleges, and it gives people, especially down in South County, an easy commute to class. We will link you to this website through Capital TV. Thanks for joining us for Legislative Insight. I'm Margie O'Brien. Thank you.